Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me yet again. My name is Wilkie and I am back with a video I actually wanted to make on Sunday when I was able to play Battle Ride Real in uh, one of the last, I guess, beta tests. Um, right now we are in early access, so if you want to play the game, all you have to do is purchase it. There's, I think, a 10% discount right now. So it's uh, 18 euros right now and if you're a founder or I think battle pack owner or something um, you will receive another 50% off the game. Now this is a little bit of a uh, difficult topic because back in I don't know exactly when battle right released uh, the dev said that whoever founders the game or gets the founders pack uh, will get every update for free. Now, technically they didn't lie because they made it a separate game mode, but it kind of leaves a little bit of a sore feeling in regards to that. But at least, I mean, they gave us a 50% uh, discount, so in total I think I paid 9 euros for uh, Battle Ride Royale, which is a fair price considering um, I like the game itself and what I played so far in the game mode um, in, the, in the beta test was actually quite neat. So, um, yeah, generally this is, even though it's a Battle Royale type game, it's not really as much of a Battle Royale as people um, may think it actually is. And what I mean by that is, I might actually have to turn down the sound a little bit, so I can feel my voice uh, screaming. Now, generally what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that, um, while it is sort of like a battle royale, it's not like your typical battle royale. Honestly, if I were to compare it, I'd say it feels a lot more like the early days of Warcraft 3, when you had like a map, like a PvP arena. This is how battle ride to me at least feels, or battle ride royale. So this is not like PUBG, not like Fortnite, but it's a totally different niche, uh, which I think is really good. The plus one for doing something um, you know, that's not existing yet. And on top of that, um, I mean, Battle Ride played alright. I kinda, it kinda went and took some turns I didn't like, which is pretty much why I stopped playing it after like 150 hours or so. Um, still, I think it's a very good MOBA. It's a very good game, and I think they can potentially make something out of this. So, um, yeah, I mean, typical... Battle Royale start, you fly over a map, you jump out, and you get somewhere. So we're gonna... I'm gonna try and get around... No, we're, we're gonna go to Smuggler's Rock. I have no clue about flying distance yet or something, so I'm not really able to gauge it properly yet. But I think I made the right choice coming here. So... It's been a while since I played Battle Ride, so probably what you're going to be seeing is me failing quite hard uh, on certain occasions, so hearing that's very nice. Press play. What the hell is that? I'm not sure. What the? Okay, actually I did not want to do that, but fair enough. Uh, what I should not be forgetting is the mount. Zap removes all, absorbs damage, and increases movement speed. That still works. Alright, we get a croak here. Seems very new to the game. Oh, he has his space bar. Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna get this guy for sure. Well, I'll take that one from you then. So, I guess the biggest difference compared to other uh, Battle Royale games, if you will, is um, that you have a fixed character you're going to be picking. So I guess it's similar to how Battle uh, Realm Royale was at the past, uh, be before I played it myself, so I can't really say anything in that regard. Uh, wow. Circle of Resilience, Crowd Control, Stealth Potion. Nah. Legendary skills though, this is gonna be quite neat. There's space bar and Q. We don't have a whole lot of spells, so. Wow. New event. And uh 
Not very great. I really lack some skills, to be honest. Oh, no, I'm not at the pop. Um, R. That's very nice. So generally how this works is you pick up items. Um, what's our tractor beam, right? Okay. You pick up items, you pick up skills that level up if you get a better quality skill. So, wow, what? I do not know what the hell this guy's ability ops are. Wow. Woo, that was close. Chris Hall and Gunner need some potions. So, as I said, the biggest difference is you kind of know what you will be getting and you kind of know what the enemy has to some extent. Because obviously, uh, the items you're going to be picking up, this is where customization is going to be kicking in. Um, because there's a variety of items you can have, there's a variety of items people will pick. Um, because you only have four slots, and there's obviously more choices than these four. Um, RB rocket. Space jet. I think I'm gonna be taking that one. And I'm gonna buy some potions because I need to chug one. But yeah, as I said, generally this is just another... It's not... I, w I was about to say, it's not just another Battle Royale clone. Because, as I said, this is definitely a niche. It plays heavily like... As I said, like a... I feel more like playing a Warcraft 3 map back in the days. Uh, simply with permadeath. Like, unlike, you know, the, the problem with Warcraft 3 back then was literally that rehosting and everything was a pain in the ass. Uh, we don't have these issues with technology anymore, so uh, we are able to play games like this. And to be honest, I think these, um, this has, at least in my opinion, very, very good potential if they don't blow it. That's obviously always an option that they kind of screw up or something. Uh, but you never know. We'll see how that one turns out or not going to turn out. And we just have to see and play. As I said, generally though, I think the game plays very nicely, very fluently. Um, lots of variety. Oh shit. What the hell was that? Oh, uh oh. That actually happens if I drop down somewhere where I'm not supposed to. Could have tried it, I guess. Um, yeah, what I was about to say is that I'm kind of very... I'm very glad that we get to play this, because I think this can potentially um, put the MOBA genre, or generally the, the, this arena type of battle, or this gameplay, into focus. It might cannibalize Battle Royale itself, so, you know, that that's always like a double-edged sword. But we see about that. Anyways, so I'm trying to get some more... Does he not have a counter, or does he not want to use it? What the heck? Really? Oh man. So much resources wasted. Oh, purple left click. Damn it. Uh, I think I kind of forgot to talk during that encounter. Didn't actually escape. Um. Uh, I don't think. Well, actually. Nah. We're not gonna drop flips. Nah, screw that. We're now screw that. We would that that one. Jesus Christ, playing like a chump. Um, what was I about to say or tell you? you heard that New one. Entry to I should get that one. And no, I was I'm kind of lost and probably lost track. Sorry about that. I'm not gonna edit this one. If I can do. Yeah. Dead anyway. 
that was kind of horrible. Legendary R, how oh, very good of that. I'm surprised this worked so well. I mean, I only got two kills, so this could have been quite bad. I have a lot of silver. I don't know what the hell meteor. This guy is annoying me. Like freaking hell, he is annoying me. There's only three people left apparently, and he's one of them. Very long life. Guess it's down to 1v1 now. Uh, we don't need that one then, I guess. Uh, we're gonna keep that. Oh shit. The death vortex is in uh, what you're gonna be doing, mate? gonna get burned mate if he like I'm not sure what he's trying to do just probably gonna kite me around and tries to ease all right double jump Let's see if we can get this guy now. All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna. The death vortex is incoming. I'm not sure what he's what he's trying to do, really. Playing like a chump. <laughs> All right. Um, I didn't expect that to be. I mean, I only got four kills, and to be honest, I think this guy was way, way too scared to be running around away from me with croak with so many legendary skills. Like I'm Iba, really. If he pins me down, I, there's not a lot I can do. Um, I guess I didn't play too bad. So, anyways, this is the first. Uh, of maybe many episodes to come. I should probably edit these ones out, even though this is like 30 minutes and probably three minutes are just talking or me rambling around sitting in the lobby. Uh, so this might actually be a format I might do on a daily basis or like every t every second day com um, combined with Tekken. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Um, I definitely, if you like Battle Ride, if you like uh, these types of arena games in general, I'm definitely recommending to check this one out. Um, I think the player race is gonna be relatively big for this one, at least I hope so. The learning curve will probably be a bit higher, but Battle Ride is free, so you can try out all the champions. They're not exactly the same, but they're very similar. Like, there's gonna be nuances, there's gonna be additional effects on certain abilities, but generally, um, if you understand how these characters work in Battle Ride, you're gonna be having a good option or good knowledge of how these characters work in battle right royale so anyways i'm not gonna ramble on about longer thank you guys for sticking around and uh, joining me into my first battle right royale video and i will catch you guys next time